Number one, lazy hands or feet. Oh, okay. I already roasted this before, but bro, I hate it so much when these hoes be lazy. This was already so good. Like, there are be so good. Anatomy is anatomy. -ing. But what the heck are those toes, man? That looks like chewed up gum. Stop being lazy. Like, what are these feet, man? I can't even enjoy my feet in peace. Those hands. The hands look like tentacles. She's literally built like him from Powerpuff Girls. Seriously, though, the body is not proportionate to her head. Why is it shaped? like that. Looks like a freaking SCP monster, bro. Looks like someone drank too much Grimace shake. Hashtag drew this on my phone with my finger. Okay, do you want an award for that? Ooh, this looks pretty good. What is that? Why is her index finger so long? Finally finished this. I love this pop art style. This took me hours. Really? Did this really take you hours? That's that's actually really impressive. Bro, why is her finger among us shape? Dude, I swear, roasting people's art is like an entirely different sport. What the heck, man? Is he doing like a magic trick on her? Because why is her hand just floating in space? Where did her arm go? Ah, now this. Look at this guy. Bro drew not one, not two, but three three hands your fave could never 11 out of 10 though they kind of look traced low-key what y'all need to understand is that no matter how good your art is if there is one flaw people's eyes will naturally be drawn to that one flaw like look at this it looks all right until you look at the freaking fingers where did the fingernails go man did you eat it or what which is why it's really important to pay attention to the details like look at this pretty okay oh wait what the what the heck is that hand the hand looks like crap negative seven out of 10. Oh wait, that's my art. What even are those toes, man? More importantly, what is this whole artwork about? I think he likes you. Well, I don't like him. Not one bit. Ooh, juicy. 10 out of 10. Multicolored hair. Another thing I hate is the multicolored hair. It's okay to have multicolored hair, but bro, people be choosing the worst color combinations known to man. Like, what the heck is this? Mustard and green? It's like that one Squidward painting. 1 out of 10. What is this? Purple and yellow? I Yes, very cliche. I don't really like how you just did not bother to blend the purple with the white hair at all. This looks like if Grimace puked all over her head. Hmm. Is this a Shrek reference? Bro, what is this hair, man? A Billie Eilish monster can? Now, this one, I can't tell if this is hair or like ears or something. I think this guy is supposed to be a furry shark or whatever. But green? Really? The heck is that shirt, man? 3 out of 10. Hmm. I guess this one's alright. A bit more tame. I don't know about the other ugly watermark though. Hmm. Okay, okay. This is better. Way better than the other color combinations. Her hair reminds me of some because it looks like a watermelon. Also, it looks like a pig crew. Did she dip her hair in Barney's pee? Now, this character in particular, this is a good example of good execution. I don't like gradient hair, but the color combination is top tier. Also, where's the nose? My first post. Deleted. I drew it with my thumb. Lol. I can tell. Number three. Too high or too low hairline. Now, this this is why you need to make your characters bald before you draw the hair. Because when you look at the girl's head, bro, she looks like she has a tiny brain. She's just like me for real. Also, why does her neck have a butt crack? Now, this is like the opposite. This hairline is too low. Bro got the McDonald's hairline. Wow. Very voluminous hair. He's got a whole croissant on his head. Wow, his head is so massive that I thought it was a new egg type Pokemon. Bro got the Frankenstein head shape. Unnecessary shading. I hate it when people go too far on the shading. Bro, you did not need to shade the shirt like that. Like, what is this between her boobs? Illuminati? The unnecessary shading is also really common with head shading. Like, when you shade the hair, you should shade it by groups. Not like this. This looks like spaghetti and meatballs. And also the skin too. Bro, why do you need to add so many random colors in the skin? She looks like she has a giant bruise on her arm. My first art post. Okay... Huh. Bro is experimenting with the gimp brushes. Uh, okay. Let's ignore the hands real quick. When you have a light source like this, the way to show that it's illuminating is to illuminate the character, not the light. You get my point? Like this ball here. Let's say there's a light source. The best way to show that there's a light source is to add highlights on the ball. Don't just 
airbrush it like this, okay? Color combinations. Sometimes, color combinations can be really bad. Exhibit A. I don't know why, but this picture from afar does not look that pleasing. And I don't know what's wrong with it. Well, listen here. I know what's wrong with it. It looks like crap because it looks like KFC. Like, bro, white and red seem familiar? KFC logo? And you nailed that font, bro. Although I wouldn't say that it looks like crap. It just looks like KFC. I love KFC. Oh, look, another crappy color combination. Why would you, as a sane person, ever use green in your art? It's disgusting. If Hanako was a little strawberry farmer, she doesn't look like a strawberry. She looks like Christmas. Time wasted. Five hours. Ah. The freaking green and blue combination, dude. This takes me back to fourth grade. Broken line lips. I didn't say lime lips, okay? I said line lips. So I never got why anime did this. It's always the same anime style, man. Why are the lips a broken line? Stylistic choice? More like lack of style, am I right? No, seriously though, it's bland af. I feel like this is what separates anime from manhwa. The lips. If you look at all the popular manhwas, they all have juicy lips. Even the freaking guys, bro. Anime needs to keep up. Happy J-Hope day. Hmm. Well, it does look like J-Hope, but also Loki also looks like Asian Elon Musk. Why does he look like he's from a renaissance painting? Bro, he literally looks like Napoleon. Bro put too much highlighter. Hey, I finally posted. So how are you people doing? I'm not doing well. Why do the eyes look so bloodshot and alcoholic? 11 out of 10. W bro, where did her body go? This honestly looks terrible. I mean, well, your words, not mine. Again, the eyes peeking through the hair, man. Stop doing that. 2 out of 10. I love drawing rose tattoos. The rose tattoo in question. Like, why would you say that and then proceed to cover like 50% of the rose tattoo, man? Why does he have that expression? It's like we just walked in on him doing something bad. Like his face is like, hey, bro, I'm doing something important. You gonna leave now? Insta's cropping sucks. Well, you wanna know what else sucks? Why is there a barcode under his eyes? So, um, I see this artist a lot in my hashtag and it's always drawings of girls with huge badonkas. Nothing wrong with that. But like please seek help can you please identify the mistakes for me so that i don't make them again in the future well for one she looks like jenna ortega except someone stole her nose honestly i can't tell if this is hair or tentacles if you guys like this video watch this next and i'll see you there stay cool